Hi everyone, this is Raja and welcome back to another video in this C Sharp scripting for 2D game development series. So in this video, we're going to learn how to implement double jump in your game if you're creating a 2D character controller or anything. So currently we have already implemented the jump feature and the movement feature. So if you have not checked the previous videos, you can check that and implement the jump feature. Or if you already have the jump feature implemented from some other videos or some other ways, you can use that as well. So let me show you what our character does currently. So if I click on play, you can see that our character can move left and right and it can also jump, but it can jump only once. It cannot jump multiple times because we have added some ground checking features so that it can jump only once when it is grounded. So now let's open our player jump script. And as you can see here, all we are doing is whenever our space key is pressed, we are checking if our player is grounded, then we are making our player jump. And we have the jump code inside this jump function. And for the is grounded, we are checking it here using this overlap circle feature. So if you don't know how these things work, if you, if you want to know about this in more detail, make sure you check out my video on jumping and my video on 2D game development so that you can know more about it. So now that we have this jump, we want to make our player uh, double jump. So we want our player to jump two times, not more than that. Okay. So once once it's jump, after that we want it to jump one more time. So let's see how we can do that. So for that, first of all, here we're gonna create a new boolean variable. So we're gonna call it bool can double jump. If you want, you can simply go ahead and rename it to any other thing that you like. So this thing will actually control if our player can jump again or not. All right. So as you can see in this case, first of all, we are checking if our player is grounded, then we are making it jump. But our can double jump variable is false by default from before. Okay. So we want our player to jump again only when this can double jump feature becomes true. Okay. So as you can see here, we are saying if is grounded, then jump. Then below that, we're going to say else if can double jump, then we're going to make it jump once again. Okay. So if our player is grounded, then we're going to make it jump. And if it is not grounded, but we have this can double jump feature to true, then we're going to make it jump once again. Now here we need to do a few more things. As you can see, can double jump is false by default. So we need to find out a way so that we can make it true at some point of time so that this one becomes true and our player can jump again. So we're going to do that inside this thing. So whenever our player jumps for the very first time, we're going to say can double jump equals true. All right. So whenever our player jumps for the very first time, we're going to make can double jump to true so that whenever our player presses this space button one more time, it will come to this if statement and it will check can double jump is true and then it will jump again. Okay. Now after it has jumped, now we need to make this can double jump to false again because if we don't make it false, then it will keep jumping again and again and again. So we need to make it true here, then jump and then make it false right here. So can double jump equals false. Okay. So with this simple lines of code, it should work and the double jump feature should work. Now you can implement the jump in any way. It doesn't matter how you have implemented the jump, but you just need to call the jump function here, then make the can double jump true and then check if can double jump is true then jump once again and after that make the can double jump false. So now that we have written it, let's save this and check how it is working in our Unity project. So as you can see here, we are inside Unity and here I'm going to go ahead and click on play to actually check how the player can double jump. So as you can see, it can move left and right. It can move. Oops, it has probably fallen down. So let's check one more time. It can move left and right. It can jump and once again jump. It can jump and once again jump. And as you can see, currently it can jump only 
twice and not more than that so now our player can double jump and move to higher positions but not more than that okay so if you want you can also add triple jump or quadruple jumps or anything that you want but this is the simplest way to add double jumps now you can add many more variables here and do many more things as an example let's say for the first time you want to make the player jump a certain amount but when it jumps for the second time you want it to jump a lesser amount okay so you can of course do that you can do many more things but this is the basic functionality of double jumping and this is how you can implement it very very easily using these simple lines of code so now let's see how we can add a little more behavior to this so how we can make this more interesting so now we can add a functionality so that when it jumps for the first time it jumps for this amount this 20 jump force and when it jumps for the second time it jumps a lot less than that so that our double jump will be less powerful than our first jump so as you can see if I run it currently you will see that our player jumps both times with the same velocity but what you're gonna do is for the first time it should jump this and for the second time it should not jump that much higher so let's see how we can do that so let's open up our code and now as you can see our jump is actually getting controlled by this jump force amount or this jump force variable so this variable is controlling how much we can jump in the air so here what we're gonna do is when we are making our player double jump before that we're gonna simply reduce the value of our jump force so here we're gonna say jump force equals jump force by 2 all right so when the player actually double jumps we are making the jump force half okay so that means we are making the second jump less powerful than the first jump now that we have made it half we have to reset it again because if we don't do it then next time when we start jumping from the beginning our jump force will be half of the original jump force that we have set so after finishing the double jump we have to reset the value of this variable again so here we're gonna say jump force equals jump force multiplied by 2 okay so here we are first of all making the jump force half when we are double jumping and after finishing the jump we are making it same as it was before by multiplying 2 again all right so now let's go back to unity and check how this one is working so now this one will give you a more realistic behavior so if I click on play as you can see the jump force is set to 20 I can set it to let's say 15 and click on play and now you will see for the first time it jumps higher and the second time it jumps much lower than how it jumps for the first time let's make it 20 for better understanding so let's make it 20 and click on play as you can see for the first time it jumps this and the second time it jumps this so it jumps much lesser when it jumps for the second time because we have made the jump force value half of what it was before now as you can see the second jump is much much lower than the first so it is not much realistic like what we want so to make it even better what you're gonna do is instead of dividing it by 2 we're gonna divide it by 1.5 f that means we are not making it half of it but 1.5 part of it and here we need to multiply it with 1.5 again so we are not making it so less but we are making it a little bit less than the original jump force that it had before so now it should give us a much better behavior for the double jump so let's go back to unity and check how this one has improved our jumping so now if I click on play you will see here we have our character and now I can simply jump and jump and as you can see second jump is a little more powerful than how it was doing when we made it actually half let me click on maximize on play so that you can see it clearly so as you can see here's our character and when it jumps for the second time it jumps a lot lesser but it is giving us a lot more realistic behavior all right oops <laughs> to solve this issue as you can see it fell down to solve this issue you can simply go to your player character go to the rigid body go to the constraints and set the freeze rotation on z and now it will never fall down so if i click on play you will see now it jumps twice and gives a much better behavior than we had before 
and it looks really really awesome all right so this is how our double jump feature is actually working and we have also learned how we can add few more layers of complexity and make it make the behavior even more interesting by multiplying and adding and dividing it by your value so i hope you really enjoyed this video and learned a lot of new things and i'm gonna uh, i hope you will use this feature in some of your games so thank you so much for watching this video if this video helped you make sure to hit the like button and if you want more like these videos make sure to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this so thank you so much for watching this is raja and i'm gonna see you with a new video soon till then stay happy and keep learning